this week. On days of our Steelers, the Steelers open up week one of the 2021 season in Buffalo, a team that's very hungry and looking to prove doubters wrong this year as they're considered to be the secondary team to the Chiefs and Boswell kicks it off and the NFL season is back for Pittsburgh. Why are we just letting him run all over us? Is he seriously about to score a touchdown and the opening kickoff? Okay, thank goodness. But that was a 75-yard return, basically. And that does not help the Steelers right away. So days of our Steelers is already off to an absolutely fantastic start. Third down and five here for Pittsburgh. Allen. And this one's going to be incomplete. Great defensive play by Cameron Hayward. And the Steelers' defense always holds their teams to a minimum, holds their opponent to a minimum, and that's exactly what they did here. They only give up a field goal as Ben Roethlisberger in this new Steelers offense, featuring the likings of new offensive coordinator Matt Canada. And even if he does suck, maybe, and we don't know yet, at least he's not Randy Feekner. We have an entirely new offensive line, and they're all very young other than Okafor. We have a new running back, and we have a new addition to our tight end core and of still a very young and talented wide receiver core and an aging quarterback. So this should be a very interesting season, but it's time to prove the doubters wrong and show that even though by physics Ben Roethlisberger is not the quarterback of the modern NFL because he's not very mobile, neither is Tom Brady, but guess what? He still won seven Super Bowls, including one last year. As right here, that is going to be caught. What a great catch by Emmanuel Sanders. This is second 14 here for the Bills. Josh Allen, he has all day to throw. He throws it to Sanders, and that is overthrown. Wow, that would have been a touchdown if it was thrown correctly. Steelers catch a break on that one. But right now, their offense isn't doing anything, but at the same time, I can't panic yet. Even if they don't perform on well this game, it's the first game of the year. They have a new coordinator, an offensive coordinator, and this one is dropped. They have a new offensive coordinator. They have a new offensive line that's still very young. They have a new running back, you know, they have things to adjust to, so if they don't perform well on offense this game, I don't expect for us to be a great offense of team this year. You know, if we're top 10, I'll be very happy, very pleasantly surprised. But at the end of the day, you know, if we struggled this week, I'm not going to get overly concerned. It's week one. We have a whole bunch of new stuff in our offensive system. As right here, it's third down and one for the Bills after they had a fumble recovery. And this one is pitched back to Allen. And Allen's going to throw it. And this one is, oh, Cam Sutton. He blocks it. He swats it down. What a great play by Cameron Sutton, showing why we don't need Steven Nelson, who bashed our team for no reason after he left. And this one is caught by Juju Smith-Schuster. And believe it or not, he's not on TikTok, as that one's going to be converted and got onto the 32-yard line. Third down and five here for the Steelers. Roethlisberger's going to throw it. And this one is incomplete. And there is no flag. And that is going to make it a fourth and five. The Bills are going to get the football. Second down and nine here at their 24-yard line. And this one is, what a throw by Allen. It's caught by Emmanuel Sanders. Stephon Diggs, not really a factor today so far. He doesn't have a reception at all this game. And Allen's going to take off, and he's going to get the first down. And it looks like he fumbled the ball, but I believe he was able to recover it. So the Bills are going to maintain the football. Second down and three. The Steelers are performing great on defense so far. It's just a shame their offense can't do anything right now. And this one is incomplete. Pass was intended to Stephon Diggs, but it was broken up by Edmonds. And it's slightly overthrown, but he probably still would have been able to get it, as this one is just going to helplessly fall to the ground. Third down and 12 here for the Steelers at their own four-yard line. What are they going to be able to do here? Roethlisberger steps back and throws, and that one is nearly intercepted, but Tremaine Edmonds can't hold on to it. And that one's going to give the ball to the Bills. Third down and 13. He's scrambling. What's well, a strip sack by TJ Watt? He just got paid before the season started, and that's going to be a fumble recovery for the Steelers. Cameron Hayward with the ball. And Melvin Ingram... Also an amazing play by him. He's really, really, really assisting um, TJ off the other edge right here. I like the combination of him and Highsmith. And he was such an underrated signing. I mean, he was a Pro Bowler two years ago. He just got injured. And we signed him for less than $5 million. So that is absolutely what you want to see. Great signing by the Steelers. It's already paying dividends for them. As this one's going to be thrown by Allen, it's going to be caught. And that's going to be a first down. That's Dawson Knox. And this one's going to be thrown. And it's going to be caught. And that one is going to be Davis. And Davis is going to get up to about the 35-yard line, and he's going to be tackled. So the Bills, once again, trying to get something going on offense before the end of the first half. 3-0 Buffalo. Buffalo drops back, and this one's caught. And it's going to be a first down. Stephon Diggs finally getting some action here today. He finally gets his first reception of the game. This one, Allen. He's going to throw it. And, oh, it's a touchdown. Gabriel Davis. 
and that was great coverage by Sutton, except he just couldn't. That was just a better offensive play by Gabriel Davis. Nothing to be ashamed about there. Great plays by both teams. Gabriel Davis just made the better one. And the Bills go into halftime up 10-0. And this one's going to be caught. That one's going to be Eric Ebron, his first reception today, sharing the tight end combination with Pat Fryermuth this year, the second-round pick out of Penn State. And Claypool mosses him. He mosses Tredavious White, and he silences the crowd. He should be celebrating. What a great play by Chase Claypool. He can really be something special in this league. He's already starting to become exactly that. And, oh, Najee Harris drops it. Welcome to the NFL, Najee, as that's going to make it a fourth down and four. Steelers just trying to get on the board for the first time today. Kick us up by Boswell, and it is good. And right now, the Bills are, have ten, and days of our Steelers has three. And Stephon Diggs gets another reception about to, up to about the 41-yard line. And there's this one, first down and ten. Josh Allen's going to throw it. This one's caught by Emmanuel Sanders, and he's not going to quite get the first down, but it's going to be third down and eight here for the Bills. Allen looks back to throw, and this one is batted down and incomplete. That's Minka Fitzpatrick, the man who I stand on Twitter, the man who my life is all about. That is going to be an incompletion swatted down by Minka, and Allen's going to throw it. And once again, Cameron Sutton is having himself a game today. As it is incomplete, the Steelers are going to get the football second down 10. This one's going to be caught by Claypool. And that's going to be about 9 yards. Second down 10 here for Pittsburgh. 4.15 to play in the third quarter. Trying to revive their offense like they seem to do every single time they play bad in the first half. And this one is caught by Pat Fryermuth. And that's going to go to about the 28-27 yard line. It's going to be second down 10 here for Pittsburgh. Line it up. And oh, they don't hand it off to Najee. They do a jet sweep of Claypool, just like they did against the Eagles last year. And Claypool's going to get inside the five-yard line, and that's going to be a first down. What a huge play for the Steelers and Najee Harris, lining up at receiver. And he catches it, and he cannot get the first down. So the Steelers are going to have to settle for a field goal or go for it. And it looks like they're going to kick the field goal. Play it safe. Boswell kick is up, and it is good, and it is 10-6. to The Steelers waste another red zone opportunity something that they can't be doing with the way their offense has looked so far their defense has kept them in this game this is one of the best defensive performances i've seen from them and that says something because they definitely have a top five defense in my opinion top three maybe even the best in the league as this one is tackled by fitzpatrick and is he going to get the first down it looks like they're going to be generous with the marking no he's not fourth down and one Huge play here, and he's just going to hand off, and Sutton, he makes the tackle. He sheds through the block, and Cameron Sutton is able to tackle him way behind the line of scrimmage to save a huge, what likely would have been a huge game for the Bills, and the Steelers take over on downs, third and seven. Can the Steelers' offense convert on anything? And no, they cannot. They waste a defensive opportunity, but it's a pass interference. That's going to be an interference on Levi Wallace against Chase Claypool. He knows Claypool would moss him if he didn't interfere with them. That's going to be an automatic first down for the Steelers. 12-11 to play in the fourth quarter and Ben hands it off to Najee Najee breaks the tackle he's going to get the first down and more all the way up inside the five yard line that's the first big run today by Najee Harris doing what he has to do and that's all you could ask for at the end of the day and Ben this one's going to be incomplete oh no it's caught Deontay Johnson with the spectacular second effort catch for the touchdown just like last year against the Jaguars. He had a great catch against the Jaguars last year, and he has not dropped anything this year. He's been working on his catching in the offseason, and as he should have been, he dropped some pretty easy passes last year on a fairly consistent basis, but Johnson definitely makes up for it there, and the Steelers have their first lead of the day. Second and six, and it's knocked out by James Pierre. It looked like it was going to be a reception to Sanders again, but Pierre knocks it out of his hands. I hear Josh Allen scrambling. Cameron Hayward, he's having himself a game. He gets half a sack there with TJ Watt. And it's going to be fourth down for the Bills. They're going to have to punt this football away. This one's going to be... It's blocked! It's blocked by Pittsburgh. It picked up by Ulysses Gilbert III. And that's going to be a touchdown for Pittsburgh. Wow, their first blocked punt since the 28-17 season opener against the Browns, which also happened to be a touchdown. And keep in mind, that team went 0-16. And the Steelers have a lead, a two-possession lead. They're up 20-10. to And they have 20 unanswered in the second half. This offense has suddenly been revived. It's almost like you stuck your hand out and held X for 10 seconds when you played Fortnite on console. And right here, second down and four for the Bills. Devin Singletary. And finally, they're getting a running game going. Singletary, he's going to get up to the 35-yard line. 
First down 10 for Buffalo. They're going to hand it off to Singletary again. Devin Singletary. He's going to get another first down and more. All the way up inside 20. The 15, the 10. All the way down to about the 9-yard line. Devin Singletary. Two huge runs for the Bills. Third and goal. And this one's going to be caught by Singletary. And he's going to lose the ball. But fortunately for the Bills, it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be about a loss of two on the fumble. And the Bills are just going to have to settle for the field goal. There's still some time left. They still have a chance. And the kick is up. And it is good. So they finally answer their points that the Steelers have been putting up. But they have been outscored 23 in the second half. And this offense, everyone said Ben sucked, especially on ESPN. Well, look what he's doing right now against one of the best teams in the league. One of the teams that's most hyped in the league. And the team that's definitely going to make the playoffs, bearing a major injury, which I hope doesn't happen. And Smith Schuster makes an amazing catch on the previous play. And Ben, he's going to take off. Roethlisberger, he's going to slide at about the 40-yard line. And it's going to be third down and seven for Pittsburgh. Huge play of this game. Can the Steelers stay on the field? Roethlisberger drops back, and he throws it. And this one's going to be caught. It's caught by Chase Claypool. And he's a little banged up on the play, but he actually is going to be okay. That reminds me of the Hall of Fame game in the preseason. Luckily, he was for he's fortunate to be okay both times. Washington makes his first reception of the day. He's going to get about three yards, third down and 11. That's not going to get them enough for a first down. Can Boswell make it? And yes, he can. The man who was so clutch, unless if it's the 2018 season, puts the Steelers up 23-13 to with less than three minutes to play. And Ingram, he gets a hand on Allen, and that's going to be incomplete. Fourth down and 10 for the Bills. Can they convert? Biggest play of the game so far. If the Steelers can get the Bills off the field, then this game is over. Allen drops back. He scrambles, and it is caught. Emmanuel Sanders once again making another big play for the Bills today. And Allen drops back. He's going to throw it, and he is going to get it to Dawson Knox, and Knox is going to get the first down. He's going to step out of bounds. A minute 53 left to play. Steelers have outscored the Bills 23-3 in the second half. They have proven them why, and this one's going to be a sack by TJ Watt, but there is a flag on the play. And that is going to go against the Bills, holding on the Bills. So TJ Watt is credited with the sack. And right here, Josh Allen, he throws it, and it is caught. Stephon Diggs again. He's only had three or four receptions this game. He has not been a factor, unlike the game last year, like when they played the Steelers. This one is going to be incomplete. Norwood, the slot cornerback, he's once again showing up. And that's going to be incomplete. The Bills are playing it conservative and kicking the field goal and trying to recover an onside kick, and it is good. So it's 23 to 16, 46 seconds to play. This is the game right here. And this one's going to go to Smith Schuster, who recovers the football. And the Steelers are going to get a huge road victory in a first half where it looked like their offense was all but dead in the water against the Bills. And arguably, if not the best environment in football, the hardest environment in football to play. And these Bills fans are so passionate against a team that is very solid and a team that looks like it's improved defensively from last year and already has a stellar offense and I get it it's week one but this was a huge win for the Steelers because they have the hardest schedule in the NFL when it comes to the amount of playoff teams that they played from last year and even the teams that are looking to make a playoff push this year that maybe necessarily couldn't last year when, it, when you do the math they have the hardest schedule in the league so when they go out there and beat a team like the Bills that's really 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 good and I know it's week one and I think the Steelers are back. I think they're here to stay. I think they're a playoff caliber team. But don't worry. This is days of our Steelers. There's going to be some ups and downs. I promise. But just like the Steelers offense reviving in the second half as if, as if they're a completely new football team and Mike Tomlin said in the locker room that he would take away their phones if they didn't start performing well, so are the days of our Steelers.